Are you eyeing a CPU upgrade this holiday season or should you hold off until 2025 for the next big thing? Well, with Intel's Arrow Lake reviews leaving some scratching their heads and AMD's current powerhouse, the 9800X3D, playing harder to get than a PS5 at launch, the choice isn't as straightforward as it might seem. Should you wait for Santa to stuff your stocking with silicon or should you hold out for the tech elves to work their magic in the new year? Whether you're team blue, team red, or just looking for the best bang for your buck, understanding the current CPU landscape and what's on the horizon could be crucial for making the right upgrade decision. In this video, we're diving deep into the CPU market as it stands at the end of 2024. We'll be looking at the current offerings, the potential for improvements, and what we might expect to see in early 2025. From Intel's Rocky Arrow Lake launch to AMD's rumored 9950X3D, we're covering all the bases to help you decide whether to upgrade now or play that all important waiting game. But before we get into that, here's a quick word from this video sponsor. <sighs> I'm never going to be an eSports gamer. I never get any kills. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Is that Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com? Yes, my son. It is me, Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com. What are you doing here? I'm here to bestow upon you a gift that will transform you into a true gamer. With a 24.5 inch full HD screen, 240 hertz refresh rate, 0.5 millisecond response time, AMD FreeSync Premium, and height adjustability, you'll be gaming in the big leagues in no time. Oh, thank you. No problem, my son. Why don't you check out the link in the description below to find out more. So let's start with the current state of play. As we approach the end of 2024, the CPU market is at an interesting position or place. Intel's Arrow Lake processors have been out for a few months now, but the reception has been, well, let's just say it's been about as warm as a polar bear's toes. Now on the AMD side, the 9800X3D has been the go-to chip for high-end gaming, but finding one in stock is about as easy as finding a needle in a haystack that's on fire in a tornado. Just how scarce actually is the 9800X3D? Well, Overclockers UK reported a staggering 12,000 backorders, advising that anyone ordering now won't actually see their chip until December at the earliest. And well, that's being optimistic. It's not just Overclockers either. Every other UK retailer is showing the cupboards are, well, bare when it comes to this sought after chip. We're seeing similar situations in other markets too, with major US retailers like Newegg and Amazon constantly flipping between out of stock and available for backorder. It's a situation that's well, leaving many potential upgraders feeling like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Now, let's talk about the other side, Intel. Let's talk about Arrow Lake. Intel's latest architecture promised big things, but well, the initial reviews have been less than stellar. In fact, less than stellar might be putting it mildly. We're seeing performance regressions in gaming compared to Raptor Lake in some cases, even if efficiency has improved. It's a bit like, I guess upgrading your car for better fuel economy only to find that, well, now it struggles to reach highway speeds. To put some numbers to this, we've seen cases where the top end Arrow Lake chips are performing 5 to 10% worse in popular games compared to their Raptor Lake counterparts. And well, this is particularly noticeable in CPU bound scenarios, which is exactly where these high end chips are supposed to well, shine. Now, it's not all bad news though. In productivity tasks, Arrow Lake does show some kind of big improvements, particularly in tasks that can leverage its enhanced AI capabilities. And in theory, optimizations of these pieces of software should, in theory, make this better over time. Now, Intel has acknowledged these issues and confirmed that BIOS updates are being released in December to address these problems. But here's the rub. There's no guarantee that these updates will fully resolve the issues, and we'll need to wait for further testing to know for sure. Now, it is worth noting that even with its current issues, Arrow Lake is still competitive, I guess, in many scenarios, particularly in multi-threaded workloads. But for gamers, the all-important gamers, it's currently a non-starter, especially considering the price premium that it commands. Now, on the AMD front, the story is, well, quite different. The Ryzen 9 9800X3D has been the gaming king, offering exceptional performance in CPU-limited scenarios thanks to its 3D vCache. The problem, as we mentioned earlier, it's been nearly impossible to find in stock, anywhere, around the world. This scarcity has driven up prices on the secondary market, making it a less attractive option for many buyers. We've seen instances of the 9800X3D selling for 20 to 30% above MSRP on well, platforms like eBay, which is great if you're selling, but well, not so much if you're buying. But 
Here is where things get really interesting. Rumours are swirling about a potential 9950X3D launching in early 2025, with a possible reveal at CES. This hypothetical chip could offer even more cores than the 9800X3D while retaining the gaming-focused 3D V-cache. However, it's worth noting that the 7950X3D had worse performance than the 7800X3D in a variety of games due to inherent issues with a split CCD design. There's a possibility that we could see similar challenges with the 9950X3D, so it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Now, to elaborate on this point, the split CCD design in the 7950X3D meant that only one CCD had the 3D V-cache, leading to inconsistent performance across different games and workloads. Some games would run great, leveraging the cache-rich CCD, while others would struggle with the constant switching between CCDs. Now, if AMD sticks with a similar design for the 9950X3D, we might see these issues persist. But on the other hand, if they find a way to implement 3D vCache on both CCDs, it could actually be a game changer. But that would likely come with a significant cost increase. So swings and roundabouts again. That said, the 9950X3D is generating buzz for more than just gaming. Now with Zen 5's improved AVX 512 capabilities, this chip could be a game changer for software engineers and other professionals who can leverage these instructions. We're talking about potential performance boosts in areas like cryptography, uh, scientific simulations and machine learning tasks, double the core count over the 9800X3D and the option for gaming on the side. Seems like a bit of a no brainer. To put this into perspective, AVX512 instructions can significantly speed up certain types of calculations. For example, in cryptography, we've seen performance improvements of up to 200% when using AVX512 compared to standard AVX2 instructions. In machine learning tasks, particularly in inference workloads, AVX512 can lead to three to four times speed ups. For software engineers working on performance critical applications, this could actually mean the difference between a project being feasible or not. It's not just about time and speed, it's actually if it can be done in the first place. So with all this in mind, the big question, and why you're here, and why you started actually watching this video, should you pull the trigger on an upgrade this Christmas? Or more importantly, should you hold out for 2025? Well, it's not that simple. So let's actually break it down. If you're in the market for a high-end gaming CPU right now, your options are let's say somewhat limited. The 9800X3D is the clear performance leader, but its scarcity makes it a tough recommendation. Intel's top Arrow Lake SKUs are available, but currently lag behind in gaming performance. However, if you're gaming at 4K or let's say with an older GPU, then well, you're unlikely to notice much difference between the top chips from either camp anyway. Gaming to one side, for content creators and professionals, the decision is a bit more nuanced. While Arrow Lake's multi-threaded performance is strong, its current issues make it hard to recommend wholeheartedly. The 9800X3D, despite its gaming focus, can hold its own in productivity tasks. However, if you're doing heavy multi-threaded work, well, Intel's 13th or 14th gen chips might actually be the better choice right now, especially if you can find them at a good price, because in theory, now that Arrow Lake is here, they are actually slightly cheaper. So we're talking 13900K, 14900K, or even some of the i7 parts. Now, let's talk about what we might see in early 2025. AMD is almost certain to announce something new, with the rumoured 9950X3D being the most exciting possibility. Now, as we discussed earlier, this chip could potentially offer the best of both worlds, top-tier gaming performance and strong multi-threaded capabilities for productivity tasks. The improved AVX512 support could make it well, a compelling option for a wide range of users beyond just gamers. They're trying to, I guess, compete with Intel when it comes to having something that is more classed as a, let's say, all-round chip or all-round contender. Now, speaking of Intel, their situation is a bit murkier. They're unlikely to announce any significant CPU developments at CES 2025, and most likely up until 2026, leaving them somewhat stuck in the doldrums on the processor front. I mean, don't get me wrong, we should, in theory, see i3 and i5 parts as part of the Arrow Lake lineup, but... That's not what we're here for, right? We want top tier gaming performance. Now, however, they are expected to at least announce more in terms of Battle Mage discrete GPUs, which could be interesting for those looking at a complete system upgrade, but let's not get sidetracked. We're here to talk about CPUs. And on that front, Intel's immediate future looks, well, let's say cautiously optimistic if those BIOS updates even deliver. Now, price is another crucial factor to consider, and it's a bit of a mixed bag because well, the 9800X3D, when you can find it, is retailing for around £450 in the UK. Now, 
It's very much the same story in the US, so don't expect this price to drop significantly anytime soon due to the limited supply. Similarly, other Zen 4 gaming products like the 7800X3D or 7950X3D are unlikely to see major price cuts. AMD is redirecting silicon supply towards Zen 5 production, which means the stock situation for these chips is unlikely to improve. Then on the Intel side, we might see some, I guess, more aggressive pricing on the 13th and 14th gen as they try to clear inventory and compensate for Arrow Lake's lukewarm reception. Now, if you're not dead set on having the absolute latest architecture, these could actually represent good value, especially for productivity tasks where they still perform admirably. We've already seen some retailers offering discounts of up to 20% on these particular chips, which makes them well, quite attractive for budget conscious buyers. And just as you're considering whether to buy or not, you also need to think about which platform to get. So let's talk about that now. AMD has confirmed that their current AM5 socket will be supported until at least 2025. So any high-end AM5 motherboard you can buy now should be compatible with future CPU releases, including the rumored 9950X3D. However, there is a catch. It's not confirmed whether Zen 6, codenamed Medusa, expected in 2026 will be supported on AM5 or if it will require a new platform. AMD's official statement is that AM5 is supported up to Ryzen 10,000. And with desktop Ryzen SKUs historically incrementing by 2,000 at a time, Medusa is likely to be 11,000, unless AMD completely changes their naming scheme which I wouldn't really put it past them. This means that if you're buying into AM5 now, your longevity might be more limited than initially thought. You're likely looking at one, maybe two generations of upgrades before potentially needing a new motherboard. Intel's situation is a bit different. They're currently on the Z890 platform and there's well, nothing new expected to be announced at CES, apart from maybe i3 and i5, other part of Arrow Lake. There's only actually one refresh SKU confirmed though for Arrow Lake. So platform longevity here is, I guess, even more limited. If you're going with Intel, you're essentially buying into what's available now without much room for future upgrades. Now, let's discuss a topic we haven't touched on yet, the impact of these CPU developments on the broader PC ecosystem. The current state of the CPU market, not limited to the consumer market here, is having ripple effects across other components. For instance, the demand from server providers for memory products from suppliers like Samsung and SK Hynix are pushing up prices for DRAM, which will inevitably trickle through to the consumer side eventually, making platform upgrades likely even more expensive in the near future. On the flip side though, the, again, lukewarm reception to Arrow Lake is putting pressure on Intel's partners, potentially leading to more competitive pricing on Intel-based systems. Now it should be noted here that most of the Arrow Lake lineup is already somewhat decently priced and given Intel's very low margins for these processors, if there are any, it will be slim at best. Now, another aspect to consider is the impact on game development. As these high-end CPUs become more prevalent, even if they are currently scarce, game developers are starting to design games that can take advantage of their capabilities. This could lead to I guess what's classed as more CPU intensive games in the future, potentially making an upgrade more appealing, even for those who are currently satisfied with their setup, or maybe those who, who are currently only playing, I don't know, GPU limited games. It's just gonna open up things just that little bit more. So what is the bottom line? Well, if you urgently need an upgrade and can find a 9800X3D at a reasonable price, it's still a fantastic chip that should serve you well for years to come. Now, for those running older systems, say Intel 8th or 9th gen, or even AMD Ryzen 1st to 5th gen, an upgrade to almost any current mid-range or high-end CPU will be a significant improvement. In this case, keep an eye out for good deals this holiday season, but don't feel immediately pressured to buy one if nothing stands out. If you are on a more recent platform like 13th, 14th gen Intel, or even the Ryzen 7000 series, you can probably afford to wait, unless you have, I guess, a specific need for more CPU power. The generational improvements, while noticeable, aren't exactly earth shattering for most users. Now it is worth noting that for certain Ryzen 5000 users, especially those not on the X3D variant, then the 9800X3D or 7800X3D could be a compelling upgrade option if you can find one and if you are, I guess, predominantly all about gaming. Ultimately, the decision comes down to your specific needs, budget, and how urgently you require an upgrade. If you can wait, do so. The CPU market is likely to be 
much clearer in early 2025. And you'll be able to make a more well-informed decision at that time. Now, if you do need to upgrade now, focus on the best value for your specific use case rather than chasing the newest thing or the absolute bleeding edge. Remember, most of what we've actually discussed today about future releases is based on leaks and rumors. While we can make, I guess, educated guesses based on past behavior and current market trends, nothing is exactly set in stone until it's yeah, officially announced. And as always, we will be covering all the major announcements as they happen. So stay tuned to the channel for the latest updates. For now, that's going to, I guess, wrap up our look at the current CPU landscape and upgrade considerations for the 2024 holiday season. If you found this helpful, a like and a sub to the channel would be amazing. And if you love what we do, consider supporting us over on Patreon, where you'll get access to a whole host of goodies, including behind the scenes content, access to our testing data, bi-weekly game nights, meetups at our offices, and much, much more. The link is, as always, down below. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.